Welcome to today's full day of eating, full disclosure. Um, today was meant to be my, my morning routine, um, but I basically just woke up, did a lot of work, and then realized that it's pretty much the morning gone. So we're gonna turn this into an impromptu full day of eating. I hope you're well. Today we're four days, no wait, not four days, wow. We're four weeks out from the bodybuilding show. Today's calories are 2,550. 200 protein. I'll, I'll put the rest on the screen because I, I, I can't remember the carbs and fats. It's probably going to be here. But anyway, we are going to have our third cup of coffee. God damn, Jack. Such a caffeine whore. And we're going to have our first meal, which is going to be the, the protein, the mighty protein bar with, with loads of fiber in it, which keeps me full for longer. For long. Full for long. Anyway, so that's going to be a 200 calorie dent in my target, which I can do the math on that. I've got 2,350 calories remaining. That's a good intro. That is a good intro. So, also look what came in the mail. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you know, you know about Vasco World. But yeah, very happy with these. Very cool. Now, some of you may be war. Worrying? <laughs> Definitely not worrying, but some of you may be wondering what the hell is Vasco World? Well, we have Vasky. How to get Vasky in prep, like really, really lean, yeah? And also, I absolutely love Travis Scott. And he produced one of the sickest albums of all time called Astro World. So we just merge the two, and then we go to Vasco World, which is sick. And in the off season, we'll go to Vasco World. So yeah, in case you didn't know, now you know. But we have a couple of hours worth of work, get that knocked out, drink coffee, and then we'll go train. Today we have push, one of my favorite days. So that's a, that's a couple of hours worth of work done. Um, one thing I'm actively recommending at the minute to clients is is a, is a podcast by Joe Rogan um, and it's interviewing a person or a lady or a woman called uh, Yomini Park and basically she's like a North Korean who escaped from North Korea um, I think in like 2007 um, but if you basically just listen to that podcast you get a real perspective and real sense of gratitude towards towards life because essentially like I'm four weeks out right sometimes I complain about hu about hunger right but essentially, um, and in the fitness industry, we, we talk about these like little nooks and crannies within hypertrophy training and we kind of get into these arguments about it. But when you kind of listen to that and realize what you're arguing about, you're basically arguing about working out in an air conditioned gym and you're basically complaining about being starving through your own choice. There's different situations in life that you, <laughs> that you could basically be in a lot worse situation in your life. And essentially you have to realize that most of the things that you're doing are via choice and people don't necessarily have choice. So yeah, if you haven't listened to that, please listen to it. Because essentially moaning about being hungry and prep is, uh, is, is pretty minuscule compared to what people are going through in life. Um, essentially we can go to any shop that's kind of a, a two minute walk away, right? And go and grab some food and people can't do that. So anyway, it's quite deep quite deep but yeah interesting Meal number ein zwei, zwei. Meal number two. We have rice, pre-prepared rice. We have some salad and we have some pre-prepared chicken. Understand that you don't necessarily, like I, I just can't be asked to cook the whole thing, right? And we're all about convenience, aren't we Natalie? Yep. 
Some may call it convenient, some may call it lazy. But we've got this, we're gonna add some Frenchies, we're gonna add, gonna add some red hot sauce, and that is meal two. Easy, very easy. You don't need to be a chef to build muscle or lose fat. I'm at this position because the camera angle is too low. I'm getting like a mad quad pump. See ya. Approximately one hour since we've eaten. We're gonna go and train push. Push, push. Peace. See the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted. I'm in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. What an absolutely awesome session. It's one of them sessions where you kind of get out of it and you're a bit forked. But I thought I'd basically just go through the difference between this fat loss phase and and every other fat loss phase that I've had before. By the way, it's 160 milliliters of milk and one scoop of protein. That's gonna be post-workout. I'll put the uh, I'll put the macros on the screen. But the main difference and the main reason why I think I've retained as much muscle mass as I have in this prep or in this fat loss phase compared to other fat loss phases is in other fat loss phases, I went into the gym and said, retain numbers. So I went into the gym and saw, say, 100 kilograms for 10 reps. And I would try and get to 100 for 10. This fat loss phase, I've gone into this kind of every single session. And I've gone into it with a mindset of, I need to beat the sheet. And like, I would say 9 times out of 10, but like 8 times out of 10 in a deficit, I'm still beating numbers. And I've, I've been, I'm like 40 pounds down. Just think about that. I'm 40 pounds down. I'm nearly like 40 weeks into prep. I had th a three week gap in between that. So I've been dieting really since November the 2nd. And I've only really missed like one or two reps here and there. And when I did miss reps, they were retaining numbers. So throughout the whole of this prep, I haven't really missed the beat and I think that's just a that's a more of a mindset shift and not necessarily like a well not necessarily anything else it's just mindset it's just <laughs> refusing to to let go of numbers and just being a stubborn bastard and and that's really enabled me to alongside nutrition of course but that's really enabled me to again retain as much muscle mass as I have because it's very easy to kind of go into the gym and and lighten the load and kind of want to take it very easy but yeah with the mindset of beat the sheet you you have to force yourself not to take it on like easy on yourself because essentially it's it's hard to do that. So yeah, I'm very happy with how I've handled this prep. Um, yeah, proud but never satisfied. Of course, my physique could be better. I'm probably gonna get blown out of the water in prep and I'm gonna end this like on stage. But I can't I have I can't give it any more than I have. I've, I've put everything into this. That was meal number, we're up here by the way because Nat's got some friends downstairs and I don't really want to disrupt them because it's a bit weird when people don't know you and you're just talking 
to a thing that looks like an anal bead and and a camera anyway. Also like a, a ginger dude that's kind of got a really skull face at the minute. Kind of looks weird. Anyway, so we have that meal. That meal is typically two hours kind of post-post-workout. So we have the post-workout meal, which is the just a whey protein. I typically would advise carbohydrates post-workout, but for me, carbohydrates just make me feel a bit drowsy and sleepy. So there's no point, like I have to do some work. So basically post-workout, I don't want to have carbohydrates which send me to sleep and then just feel really brain foggy. I can't do any work. Uh, what I basically do is just have my post-workout protein, which does contain a little bit of carbohydrates in there anyway, do work. And then basically have like my carbs at the back end of the of the day. If I feel brain foggy and stuff, it's good or it's cool because we're about to sleep anyway. So that is meal number four. For meal number five, which is what I've just eaten now. We had one scoop of protein. We had 150 grams of Greek yogurt. We chose Greek yogurt to be precise because we're fancy as fuck. And also we have 75 grams of Cocoa Pops and then we had some Reese's Puffs, which is, and then a, a little bar. Them two things at the end are just my, my little bit of heaven for the day, even though we're not gonna talk about being hungry, etc., because we've got choices because of Yonami Park. But anyway, that concludes today's macros, that concludes today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next vlog. Oh, make sure you like, you share and you subscribe, that would be fantastic. Peace, love, send love to the family.